Good day Dino friends, welcome back to my house in Build a Boat for Treasure. Today, I think I'm feeling a bit tired. I think I'm going for a little nap. Hmm. Wait a minute. What's that sound? What? What? What's going on? Oh, okay. I'm out. And I'm safe. Wait a minute. I've got a feeling... We're not in build a boat anymore. Good day, Dino friends. Today I'm actually in build a boat for treasure, but also in Roblox Studio, the place where you make the games. And in Roblox Studio, I completely remade the house. This took me many hours, but I'm so glad that it's finally done. It's almost kind of done. All I need now is to make the place for the dodo and maybe some other things, but it's almost a perfect copy of my house in Build a Boat for Treasure, except it's in Roblox Studio. So I think you guys probably have a lot of questions why I made this. So that's why I wanted to give a little explanation. Before I start, I want to give you guys a little tour and explain why I made this. Because I know that some of you might have a lot of questions. Tell me, why did you make it the thing from Build a Boat in Roblox? That is, why would you do that? So here are all my answers. Hopefully I can answer all of you guys' questions. So before anyone asks, this is not going to be like one of those stolen games where people steal build a boat for treasure and try to make the same game and but a little bit different where you can also build like boats this is for me this is kind of like the creative mode for those of you who have not seen a video a few weeks ago I made a video about build a boat for treasure creative mode which is just an idea where I had where people could build whatever they want in build a boat for treasure and it would be infinite space and infinite blocks and everything and because that doesn't exist yet i kind of thought maybe i can play it here so for me this is kind of still build a boat for treasure because i tried my best to use only blocks that also exist in build a boat for treasure and i can tell you the statue is actually 100 percent the same as in build a boat for treasure oh and also if you guys want to come visit you cannot click on it to make the balloons come out so for you trolls i know you guys always do that you guys always come to my house and click the balloons. Now you cannot do that anymore, okay? Now my statue will be uh, normal forever. Now my statue can finally stand here in peace and not turn into balloons. Also, this is not going to be like a building game for you guys. This is more like me building in Roblox, like in Roblox Studio. So I can like put blocks here. I've got my blocks here. Uh, if I can zoom in on them. Uh... Where are my blocks? Where are my blocks at? There we go. So I've just put the blocks here. And if I want to... And if I want to build something, all I have to do is like put it somewhere. And then I can make anything I want. So you can make like a wall or whatever you want. Um, I'm actually... I'm only just a starter, so I'm not so not that good at it yet, but you can make anything you want. So that's what I really like about this. It's kind of like I can keep pretending like it's build a boat for treasure, but kind of like with infinite blocks and infinite space. So it's not going to be a game for you guys to play, and I hope it becomes the most popular game. No, it's just going to... If like only like 10 people play it, that's fine. It's not supposed to be like a popular... It's only really kind of for YouTube, so I can make videos about it, and I can keep building the house, because right now and build a boat for treasure if i keep making the house i'm going to run out of space to build really soon and here you can have infinite space and infinite blocks forever you can make anything you want for those of you who still think like maybe it's still it's still betraying like build a boat for treasure uh actually chill knows about this and chill has actually helped me a little bit because i got in some trouble when i placed these walls so he actually placed these walls around i only put one and then the other ones wouldn't like uh, be in their place properly he actually spent a little time building something and he built a mushroom house 
I don't know why he made a mushroom house, but I guess maybe in real life, Chill lives in a mushroom house. I don't know. He made this little mushroom house. Uh, where did I put it? He made this little mushroom house. I think it's this one. No, that's my house. That is my house. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Is it here? Yeah, here it is. Chill's house. And he even put himself in it. And then he put a virus in it. I should make that the title of this video. That would be the perfect clickbait title. Chill hacked my game. Question, And then my face would be like this. In, in the thumbnail. You know how YouTubers... Ah, chill hacked my game. Okay, so he put he put a virus in it as a troll because basically I was talking to him and I said sometimes uh, I don't like using like the free models. You know how when you make a game you can get like free stuff to put in your game. Uh, but one time there was a virus in it and it broke one of my games. So that's why I don't use those anymore. And that's why he put the virus as a joke. Also, he put the build a source plushie that someone made. And I hope that maybe one day it will go into real build a boat for treasure. That is actually pretty cool. Anyway, so yeah, Chill knows about this. And if Chill has any problem with me making this, he can say it. Um, but right now there's nothing wrong. I'm just building in here for myself self and it's not i'm not trying to get people from build a boat to go to here because here you cannot build a boat here there's no well there's water there's a little bit of water here and if you touch it it hurts but that's just for fun uh, because it's kind of because it's supposed to be an extra it's kind of an extra level for build a boat for treasure also this doesn't mean that i will quit build a boat for treasure and always do this i want to spend a lot of time making this and making it like really big because now I, we can build like a giant castle that doesn't fit in build a boat for treasure but i also want to keep playing build a boat for treasure um i want to do the dino series where we make different dinosaurs that you can use like dino max uh maybe make a series about just one boat i think that would be still fun i don't know why but that's still fun to me to just make a boat so maybe we can make the titanic Titanic into a series. Let me actually know in the comments if you think I should make that into a series. Just the Titanic, I mean the Shark Tanic series where we paint it and make it bigger every time. Okay, so those are the reasons why you shouldn't be concerned. Till knows about this game. I'm not stealing the game, etc. Now you might be asking, but why would you do this? Why would you make something that you can make and build a boat for treasure? but make it in Roblox Studio. Why would you do that? So I actually wrote down some reasons why this is really good. There's a lot of things that you cannot do in Build Boat for Treasure that is really good for if you want to make a boat, but it's not good for if you want to make a house. Number one, you can do a lot of things like uh, move and rotate and resize. Those are already many reasons. Look at this. If I want my house to be a little bit more this way there we go i can move it around i can put it all the way over here i can even if i want just copy paste it and there we go now we have two houses can we just have a neighborhood should we just have a neighborhood of houses also you can actually change the size of everything there we go we now have a baby house maybe this could be the new dino house i mean the new dodo house look at the cute look at how cute this little baby house is and you can rotate things which you can also do in build a boat for treasure but you have to like use the wheels perfectly and it's really tricky to do so you can actually move everything in every direction and make it any size and do basically you can do anything you want which is what i've been looking for because i've been thinking maybe i should make the house in blocksburg or something else but every game has limits but not in roblox studio Another reason why I want to do this is because you guys can enter it. If I have a house and build a boat for treasure, you guys cannot come. Only when I'm playing and you are really lucky to join me, then you can maybe look at the house when I'm online. But if I'm not online or, or the server is full, you guys cannot come. Now everyone can come to my house whenever they want. You can come inside here and you can look around for yourself and you can play. And of course the house is going to grow. So one day it will become like this big palace or something and you guys can check out every single room maybe there will be secret rooms maybe there will be more dinosaurs and the dodo farm will probably be bigger and yeah that's one of my favorite parts is you guys can come to my house 
Also, I can make things that you cannot make in Build a Boat for treasure. For instance, a tiny house that I just showed. Um, but also, I can put fan art. That is my, one of my favorite one examples is I can put little picture frames with fan art in it. You guys have made so many cool drawings for me and other fan art. And in Build a Boat for Treasure, if I want to put that fan art in the game, I would have to rebuild it with blocks really big. But in this game, I can literally just make a picture frame and put it on my wall. I can put one hall, I can make one big hallway and put a lot of like picture frames on the wall and it will be just a, the hall of fame, the hall of fan art fame. Or something and yeah I can make anything I want uh, that doesn't exist in build a boat for treasure and by making anything I want I mean I can make a few things because I'm just a starter I'm just a noob at Roblox I don't know how to make a lot of things yet but I think it will be fun to watch me learn and maybe I can teach you guys some things maybe you guys can teach me hopefully you guys will teach me some things because I know almost nothing if we run out of size in this game all i have to do is like take the grass and be like yeah i would need some more space there we go more space move the wall there we go more space to build so there's really no end i could build forever it would maybe one day it will just be a giant city it will just be a giant city with a lot of houses or something I don't know, but it would it it could be really big. Another thing is that sometimes you guys can maybe build something and build a boat for treasure, and then I can try to remake it and put it somewhere. I think that would be really cool as well. Maybe one day you guys can like make a room in build a boat for treasure, and then I will try to rebuild it in here. That would be a lot of fun. Another reason is we can put all the dinosaurs we want because we don't run out of space. I already in Build a Boat for Treasure had to remove some of the dinosaurs I made. Rip Leafy Brachiosaurus. Press F to pay respects. But in this game, I could just make cages for them and there would be... I could make every dinosaur that ever existed and put it in this game because there's infinite room. There is a room in forever. There's room forever. I never run out of room. I could put every dinosaur. Also, we won't have hackers like Zag. I will try to ban Zag, okay? He will just be banned from this game. Okay, I'm just going to ban him. Another reason is that, and this is probably not going to happen, but maybe one day we will make something that is really cool to put in the game. And maybe Chill will think, hey, that's pretty cool. Then he can have it as well. And maybe he can put it in the real game as well. That would be really cool. Let's say if in this game, I feel like maybe building some plushies uh, to put in my house. And maybe then Chill says, hey, those are pretty cool plushies. Can I also put them in build real build a boat for treasure? Then I would be like, yeah, put them in that game as well. That would be really cool. That is really all the reasons that I've written down. Yes, I've actually, I actually just read the list. I've made a lot of reasons why I think this is a good idea. I hope you guys agree. I am called the Buildosaurus in Roblox, the Buildosaurus. And I don't even know how to build that well in Roblox Studio, in Roblox itself. I only know a little bit how to build in some games. So I think I should, it is time that I start to learn how to build in actual Roblox Studio. So that's when I build, well, I rebuild my house and it is almost a perfect copy. Of course, I don't know how to make things work yet because I'm just a starter. So I don't know how to make candy that makes you go faster. Maybe I will never do it because I don't want to steal everything from Build a Boat for Treasure. I don't want people to think I'm some kind of thief. I also want to make some things that don't exist in Build a Boat for Treasure. But it's not going to become an official game. It's just going to be like a place. You know how in Roblox you have places and games? Places is just to visit. And that's what it's going to be. You guys can visit the house. It will just become a Roblox place that you can visit. And it's not going to be the biggest game in Roblox. And that's not what I'm going to try. So yeah, I'm sorry that this has just been a talking video. But I think it is going to be the start of something really big. I think we can make this into like a really big series where I want to make videos every week, make new updates to the, the, the game, to the, to the house every week, make it bigger, new rooms, new roads, new things, all your guys' ideas, all the comments that you put, you put comments like put a restaurant. In my old house, uh, if I could, I didn't really have that much space for a restaurant. And why would I make a restaurant? No one ever comes to my house. Now, I have a reason to make a restaurant. 
because you guys can come to my house and come and eat at my restaurant. That, I think that would be a lot of fun. So, yeah, I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys agree with my idea because I think it would be so cool if, like, one year in the future, maybe even a few years in the future, we would still be doing this. And by then, the house would be super duper big. I think that would be so cool. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry that in this video... There wasn't much playing, it was just me talking, but I think it is a really good idea. Please tell me in the comments if you have any ideas what I should do in my house. Also visit it. By the time that this video goes online, I'm going to try to put the game, the, the game online, the place. I'll just call it the place. I'm going to put the place, the house online, so you guys can visit it and make sure to leave a comment what you want me to add. So, uh... Like any kind of dinosaurs, like any kind of rooms, dinosaurs, the restaurant, every, anything you want, tell me. And then maybe in the next episode, we're going to start building in it. And I'm going to add the things for you guys. That's it for this video. I really hope you guys like it. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur.